Modi addresses Mehmet election rally at Lamjing Atoba says what Congress could not do in 15 years, BJP will do in 15 months. Chief Minister Bobi asked why Modi is making false promises when he failed to fulfill the 100 day promise. Six MPP candidates contesting 11th assembly elections in two different symbols. And 18th Players Day celebrated to commemorate Manipur's victory in the fifth national game. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English News, and I'm Premi Thangjum with the top stories and latest news at the South. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today told the people that what Congress could not do in 15 years, BJP will do in just 15 months. Addressing a mammoth political rally in Hindi for 55 minutes at Langjing Achokba Ground in Imphal West, Narendra Modi accused the Congress government for destroying Manipur. He also alleged that the Congress government has pitted one community against another community. The Prime Minister told the people that the framework agreement between the government of India and NSC and IM will not disturb the territory of Manipur and accused the Manipur government of being hand in glove with the NSC and IM. He said the framework agreement was signed more than one and a half years ago and the Congress did not say a word against it. Modi asked why Chief Minister Okrami Bobi decided to speak against it near the assembly election. He asserted that the BJP will form the next government in Manipur. Modi warned if the BJP comes to power, it will not spare the wrongdoers. The Prime Minister spoke about a number of issues, igniting thunderous applause from the crowd. <laughs> उसका कच्चा चिट्ठा हम खोल देंगे ये बात मान के चल क्योंकि यहां पे सिर्फ चुनाव जीतने के लिए यहां के समाजों को एक दूसरे का दुश्मन बना के रख दिया भाई भाई को लड़ा दिया आपने क्या राजनीति इतनी नीचे सर पर गई है जिसको समाज की परवाह नहीं हो देश की परवाह नहीं हो मणिपुर की परवाह ना हो सिर्फ अपनी कुर्सी की परवाह हो ऐसे लोगों को एक पल भी रहने का अधिकार नहीं है और इसलिए अब यहां कहते हैं कि नागाओं के साथ जो आपका अकॉर्ड हुआ है मैं जरा यहां के मुख्यमंत्री को पूछना चाहता हूं डेढ़ साल सोए थे क्या गहरी नींद सोए थे क्या यह अकॉर्ड डेढ़ साल पहले हुआ ना आपने कभी भारत सरकार को चिट्ठी लिखी है मैंने स्वयं ने कांग्रेस के नेताओं को अकॉर्ड में क्या है सारा बताया है और आज डेढ़ साल के बाद जब चुनाव घोषित हो गया तो झूठ फैला करके मणिपुर के लोगों को बांटने का पाप कर रहे हो मेरे मणिपुर के भाइयों बहनों आप तय कीजिए कि आपको 15 साल तक मणिपुर को बर्बाद करने वाले मुख्यमंत्री के झूठ को मानना है या ढाई साल से ईमानदारी से आपकी सेवा में लगे हुए प्रधानमंत्री के सच को मानना मैंने मैं आप पे छोड़ देता हूं भाई लेकिन मैं आपको विश्वास दिलाता हूं नागाओं के साथ जो अकॉर्ड हुआ है इसमें कहीं पर भी मणिपुर के टेरिटरी के साथ कोई भी धोखा करने की चर्चा नहीं है इतना झूठ बोल रहा मणिपुर के मेरे प्यारे भाई बहनों मैं मणिपुर की इस पवित्र धरती पर आकर के आपको वहां वादा देता हूं ऐसा एक भी शब्द जो मणिपुर के हितों की रक्षा न करता हो जो मणिपुर के हितों को नुकसान करता हो ऐसा अकॉर्ड में एक भी शब्द नहीं है भाइयों बहनों एक भी शब्द नहीं है कहीं कोई भी रुकावट करता है तो उनको हटाने की जिम्मेवारी राज्य सरकार की है कि नहीं है भाइयों बहनों कानून हिंदुस्तान का संविधान कहता है ये पूर्णतः जिम्मेवारी मणिपुर के मुख्यमंत्री की है मणिपुर की सरकार की है मणिपुर की पुलिस की है उसके बाद भी रास्तों पर ब्लॉकेज चल रहा है लोगों को अनाज नहीं मिल रहा दवाई नहीं मिल रही बच्चों को दूध नहीं मिल रहा है कैसी सरकार चलाते हो भाइयों बहनों ये उनकी विफलता का जीता जागता उदाहरण है ये जिम्मेवारी उनकी है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की मणिपुर में सरकार बनेगी और मणिपुर के हाथ में सरकार आते ही कोई भी ब्लॉकेज नहीं रहने देंगे मैं आपको वादा करता हूं 
Normal life was affected by the total shutdown imposed by the Coordinating Committee, Corcom, from 6 this morning in connection with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Imphal. More shops in Kwaramban Bazaar and other markets remain closed during the total shutdown. Schools, colleges, offices remained closed and there was less traffic on the roads. State and central security forces maintained a strict vigil in the capital city to prevent any untoward incidents. Chief Minister Okrami Bobi today strongly reacted to the allegation made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi against the state government at a political rally at Langjing Atoba ground. He said the allegation is baseless and Modi has not done homework. Speaking to media persons at Congress Bhavan, the Chief Minister said Manipur has better power situation than Gujarat. Reacting to PM's statement that the economic blockade will be immediately suspended if BJP comes to power in the state, Ibo be said the prime minister's statement clearly shows that bjp is in alliance with the unc and nsc and im he asked why the bjp government is not disclosing the framework agreement if there is nothing that would disturb the territorial integrity of the state the chief minister also alleged that whenever the nda is in the power in the center there is tension among different communities in manipur and june 18 incident is example he has not done proper homework before he came here. Today there is 24 hour power supply in our state, Manipur power sector reform by the state government of Manipur. Even his own state, Gujarat, he had already instructed the model of Manipur power sector reform should start initiation. If BJP came to power, the economic blockade will definitely open immediately. Mana hai ki vese sina takpadi masina frup taureva. BJP, particularly Honorable Prime Minister and the UNC and SN, I am hand and glove. If BJP does not come to back to power, this economic blockade will continue like it is. This is a big question to the Honorable Prime Minister. He should have to be replied. He mentioned that. Before we enter this agreement, framework agreement, we had discussed with the Congress leader. Who are the Congress leader? Can he name? If he cannot name, whether he can resign or not. The Chief Minister also appealed to the Prime Minister not to politicize sports and culture of the state. He said a central team chose YPB Laukol for the construction of Sports University and then shifted to Kokrook and the state government has allotted 320 acres for the project. He said, National Sports Academy at Kuman Lampag and District Mini Sports Complex in different districts were inaugurated at a time of UPA government. Responding to the corruption charge, he said, if the state government has misappropriated the funds from the center, let a central agency inquire and prove it. More than 90 times, union ministers visit Manipur. Patane why they are coming here. So is there any new project whether they have sanctioned or not? During the time of UPA government, any union minister, they never enter. Let us forget about prime minister. They never enter in our party office because since they came union minister, they are not only for one particular party. They are the minister of this entire country, one national sports university. Now, whether they set up or not, we are not beggar, we will not beg to them. We have sufficient infrastructure is there. I appeal to the Honorable Prime Minister and BJP leaders, let us not involve and politicize like sports and uh, culture. In the first of its kind, not only in Manipur but in India, candidates of the oldest regional party in the state Manipur People's Party MPP will contest assembly elections in two different symbols. The party will contest the 11th assembly elections in March with cycle and petrol pump as its symbols. The MPP has filtered five candidates. While one candidate is contesting with the cycle symbol, four others are in the fray with petrol pump as their symbol. MPP President Nongmai Kapam Sobakiran, who is contesting in Hyrog, has a cycle symbol. 
Priyo Kumar in Hainang, Azizul in Ketrikau, Kaba in Keshamthong and Sirchil in Singtumai have used the petrol pump symbol. The party with two symbols appeared in the list of candidates for the two-phase elections released by CEO Manipur on its website on February 18th and 20th. It may be mentioned that Election Commission of India did not recognize a party in 2013 after it failed to get 6% of votes in the 2012 Assembly elections. Pungyar BJP Mandal organized a mega public rally yesterday at Kamjong to show their support for Somi Aungsi. Union Minister of State for Home Affairs Kiran Rijiju attended the rally as a chief guest along with leaders of BJP Manipur Pradesh. He urged the people to vote for BJP to bring a change in the state. National President of National People's Party, NPP, Conrad K. Sangma, to distress the need to strengthen the NPP in Manipur. He said the NPP focuses on the development of the Northeast states. Speaking at the political meeting of the NPP candidate, C.H. Ajang Kongsai, for Cycle Today at Cycle Public Ground, Conrad K. Sangma said the people of Northeast states have had suffered enough and the people now need representatives who can voice their concern for the people. He said the NPP has raised issues facing the people of the region in the parliament when other political parties spoke about their own states. National People's Party is a party that is very much focused on the Northeast. I was telling to Ajahn Kongsai that just recently in the budget, there was a discussion. I participated. And in the budget discussion and participation, yes, other MPs spoke. Everybody was speaking about different different parts of India. Some MPs spoke from Northeast. They spoke about their own state. But why we can't speak about the region? Our region has so many problems. I can tell you nobody might speak about Northeast, but National People's Party will always keep the Northeast in front. Communist Party of India Marxist today released its manifesto for the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly elections. Secretary of CPI and Manipur State Committee Sharad Salam released a manifesto at the party's office at Pauna Bazaar. Releasing the manifesto, Sharad Salam said the party became an ally of the left and democratic front to form an alternative government other than the Congress or BJP, which will understand the aspirations of the people. The 30-point manifesto includes talks with militant groups, Strengthening of Manipur Human Rights Commission and Manipur Women's Commission, removal of AFASPA, protection of the rights of minority community, OBCs, scheduled tribes and castes, and prevention of the corruption. Chakhat lambi da kwai thin da haliba magi corruption si akoi gi mapung phana akoi muthat na bokhon nagani loina loina na akoi gi bhart pumba da paykhala iba akoi gi miyam gi. Maru oina laumi sinmi laita laira miyam gi damagda paikhala iba akhoi gi bhar pumba gi program sing se Manipur da amatta akhoi gi machu taana adu ga mapung phana masi pangthok pa laitri huji phaugda masi pangthok na bagi damagda yam thamui sheng ba akhoi gi miyam gi sakar amat dhakar lai hai si su akhoi gi mene feso si da akhoi na hai jari Lok Jan Shakti Party LJP candidate for Bishnupur Kundrakpam Babeshwar hoisted a party flag at his residence at Ka Potsangbam. Speaking at the flag hoisting, Babeshwar is sure of providing skilled training to youths to help them employment and introduce development schemes for the development of the constituency. Lok Sabha MP Chirag Paswant and LJP Manipur President RK Somorendo were among those who attended the election meeting. As part of the systematic voters' education and electoral participation SWIB, a cycle rally with the theme Healthy Electors for Healthy Democracy will be held tomorrow in Thaubal. The rally will start from Basu Ground at 7.30 a.m. and will go up to Basic Ground, Kakching and return to Thaubal. The rally is being organized to create awareness on ethical voting and to ensure maximum participation of electors in the Assembly elections. Independent candidate in Kairau Assembly constituency, Muhammad Nasiruddin Boboy, hoisted his flag at Kiamgai Muslim village in Imphal East. 
Speaking at the event, Nasiruddin said the people are suffering as elected members of the constituency did not complete any developmental works. He said, compared with other constituencies, Kairau is lagging behind in road communication and other fields. He said he's contesting the election to bring a change in the constituency. Ladyba Manipur ki jati bijati khai dong na ngai akhoi ki silliba kanglup khara se si ki se akhoi ki Manipur ki lamai de ki muthan na ngai akhoi phone na ba aduga tangai phadana lakatar ba election chida akhoi ki Ladyba Praja Mayam na khambi ke dabdi awon ba ma purak Manipur awon ba ma purak na ngai board preview hai bhi dunni Praja Mayam na aina thamjari ba. The center will deploy an additional 30 companies of central paramilitary forces in Manipur for smooth conduct of assembly elections. Chief Secretary O Nabakishor told reporters in Imphal yesterday that altogether 280 companies of central paramilitary forces will be deployed for election duty in the state which is experiencing more than three-month long economic blockade imposed by the United Naga Council. Lok Sabha MP and Chairman of Central Parliamentary Board LJP, Chirag Paswan today visited Chai Rao Ching in Thangwiban to offer floral tribute to the martyrs of Manipur. He was accompanied by Langthabal MLA Karam Shyam, LJP National Mahila Secretary Rushida Sharma, LJP Yuva National General Secretary A. Amit, Dalit Sena Manipur President R.K. Somarendro, alias Kaiku, State General Secretary A. Kishore and LJP candidate in Yai School Constituent. It's time for a small commercial break. We'll be back with a short while. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back to the break, and you're watching Primetime English News. People today burned the effigies of Chief Minister Okrami Bobi, former DGP Y. Joy Kumar, and former Imphal West Police Additional SP AK Jalaje today. Members of extrajudicial execution victim. Families Association and the locals protested at Kaishamthong Ilang Bamlaikai, demanding punishment for those involved in fake encounter cases. Later, they burned the effigies and chanted slogans. Manipur gi oina fake encounter ra lai khitra 1528 cases asi gi oiba achum bisara ma koi supreme court na budi hauzik law kha lai adu asi gumba sing asi election maya asi ga loina na ekhoi gi Manipur da lai riba issue asi lai riba election election le pi riba every candidate sing na kara ka da bo oiba su hauji pal ba sarkar sing na ju masi Manipur baza gi issue ama di sentiment khang na thabak tau view ha ba se ekhoi na ifong gi site ta gi ama ding asi Revolutionary People's Front RPF today celebrated its 38th Foundation Day as Independent Demand Day. In a press release, Secretary Publicity of the RPF said the day was celebrated at the Council Headquarters Central Bureau and its divisions by hoisting the party's flag. In his message, RPF President said the RPF is dedicated to achieve an independent status of Manipur. Raj Medicity today celebrated the 13th Foundation Day. Speaking at the event held at Multipurpose Hall of the Hospital at North AOC, Chief Secretary O Nabakishore maintained that new treatment facilities are now available in the state. He said Raj Medicity has been making great contribution in providing treatment to the people of the state. <laughs> Hospital as you saw the number of the satisfied the dedication and learning what to receive the way Patients in the service review, Epologa, Chandurama, Hospital Lama, Uibi, I have a year to be a Sadu Tamsi. 
The dead body of an unidentified man was found today in an area between Samaram and Chingtong village in Kongchung. Police recovered the body this morning and suspected to be a case of overdose. Sources said the deceased was around 35 years of age. The Sindra Battalion of Assam Rifles yesterday organized a free medical camp under the aegis of Red Shell Division at Chinka Village. Doctors and nurses of Assam Rifles treated more than 150 patients, including elderly persons and children at the camp. Free medicines were also provided to the patients. In fall to Moray Passenger Service Drivers Association will hold a meeting at Moray Parking, Moirangkom, to discuss the holding of passenger service to Moray. Owners and drivers of the van and eco drivers have been asked to attend the meeting. Now the sports news. The 18 Sanaroy Singinumit Players Day was celebrated today in commemoration of Manipur's victory in the 5th National Games at Kumanlampak Sports Complex. Manipur emerged champion of the 5th National Games. Manipur hosted the 5th National Games in 1999 and backed the Raj, Raja Bhalendra Trophy. Manipur has been celebrating the Players' Day since 2000 to mark the victory. More than 3,000 sportspersons took part in today's celebration organized by Department of Youth Affairs and Sports at Kumalam Park Sports Complex. Chief Secretary Onavikishore and several sports lovers of the state attended the event. Sports is in the district of the district of sports infrastructure I guess the lady was the part of the lady was sports keep coaching that why you do not sing the lady was in announcing sports keep person announcing the guys you look at Pira Gadi Amuka Hena, Manipur is for Sida, Sakalakani, Maseko, Rich Longwood Avenue, Equa Mase, don't the way other way to me, and Equa Kanmat Avenue. Neroka FC Sangakpam have entered the final round of the second division league and home and away basis organized under the aegis of All India Football Federation. In a match played today at Kuman Lampak Main Stadium, Neroka FC Sangakpam and Mohammedan Sporting Kolkata were drawn 1 1. Neroka Sangakpam's Nigerian Ijigo Chinedu Emmanuel scored a first goal in 29 minutes, while Mohammedan Sporting Kolkata's Dikahi Leone Bodis equalized a goal in the 89 minute. Neroka FC Sangakpam have won 13 points, while Mohammedan Sporting Kolkata are with 10 points. The final round of the second division league will be held in April with six teams. In a match of the MCA Luang Pokpa T20 Cricket Trophy played at Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium, SCCC Singjumai won the toast and elected to bat first and made 102 runs for 9 in 20 overs. In reply, Re Young star Nagamapal reached targets runs in 19 overs, losing by 4 wickets. In another match, Cham Kangempli made 115 runs for 10 in 20 overs. In reply, DCMDC Thongju managed to make 98 for 7 in 20 overs, losing the match by 24 runs. KIYC K3 Iril Mapal will play Ford Ketriga, while Napsaka Impa will play YWC Patsoi tomorrow. Paddle Attack, also known as Mountain Bicyclist Union Manipur, will organize the third annual Bicycle Fest as a part of Yaoshan Festival on the 13th of next month under the theme We Ride, We See. The fest will start at 7 in the morning from Hapta Kangjibung and cover different areas of Imphal before concluding at DM College of Commerce. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club, President of the Union Gurumayum Gomi said, cyclists from Nagamapal will also Nagalin will also participate in the fest and requested the people to support the event. Meanwhile, the World Touring Cyclist Friends couple Anthony, 33 years, and his wife Barbara, 36 years, arrived in Manipur on February 20. The couple, after cycling from Nepal to Kolkata, cycled through the northeast states of India and finally reached Manipur. The couple received stayed for six days in Imphal and will leave for Moray tomorrow morning. Before we wrap up the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again.
Modi addresses Mahmoud election rally at Langjing at overseas. What Congress could not do in 15 years, BJP will do in 15 months. Chief Minister Bobby asks why Modi is making false promises when he came to fulfill the 100 day promise. Six MPP candidates contesting 11 assembly elections in two different seasons. And 18 players being celebrated to commemorate Manipur's victory in the fifth national.